So I'm going to join online guys, welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected, this is chapter 25, when we last left off we had just made it into Act 3, so let's go talk to this person here and see what's going on. Welcome to Karas, Traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warding holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancore, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. All right, let's see what uh person has here. I like these helmets. Turn that on. There's my chief. Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never returned to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. All right. So we can sail west. We're not going to do that right now, obviously, but it is an option. Let's head into the middle first. You now speak to Ormus. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn, or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. Mask of the Fox, eh? Looks pretty cool. Um. Good day. Didn't mean to click on him. Looks like Deckard Kane made his way here too. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly, this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there. And you must find them. That's the waypoint. Uh, let's head up this way. Talk to Alcor. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're new here, aren't you? I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves, and I can sell you some if you really need them. But don't make a habit of coming here. I don't like to be disturbed while I'm studying. Noted, my friend. Let's go over here, talk to uh, Ashara. Ashara. Hello there. You must be a great adventurer to risk coming here. My name's Ashira, and I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months, but no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. But be careful. 
If you piss them off, they can be worse than those monsters out in the jungle. I think we will do just that. Um, what does she have to trade? Armors and stuff. Interesting. Strip our friend Good down day. there. Oops, I Who do we want? Looking at Devac here for 3300. He has Glacial Spike. Creates magical ice comet that freezes or kills nearby enemies. Frozen armor increases your defense and freezes enemies that hit you. An ice blast creates a magical sphere of ice that damages and freezes your enemy. Enemies. No oh, enemy. Yeah. I think we'll go for him. Iron Wolf. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. So he uses swords and shields. So I didn't know if he could use this. He can't right now. But we'll find him a decent weapon, that's for sure. Or a weapon, I guess, nonetheless. <clears throat> um, I think we've almost explored out this place. Let's just head down here and see if there's anyone down here. Greetings, Hero. I've heard of your exploits, and uh, I'm quite impressed. Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the three and their minions, as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. Until I receive my orders, I'll assist you with the information I have. I think that's everyone from my memory. We'll check over here, obviously, but I'm pretty sure that was everyone. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Let us step into the jungle then. Here we go. Entering the spider forest. Now this place, this place can be a huge mage, or mage, Jesus, try that again in English. This place can be a huge maze, uh, the whole Act 3. A lot of these maps are windy, twisty, uh, really long and big. better than what we have right now. That saber up for him. Need a shield for him as well. My eyes out for. Okay, okay, okay. Give him the saber right now. I'll put that to good use. Increase his damage just by that much. Now we deal with the fetishes, which are pygmies. I'm not looking forward to that at all. We've seen the a version of them earlier on as a ratman, I think they were called.
I'm gonna keep my eyes open for a shield for now. Until we can get him, obviously, a magical shield and sword. Use. <clears throat> yeah, something now at least. Shooting is something out there. Decent location for it. Um, make a pit stop here, real quick. Good day. Hello. I think the one I gave him was much better as well. Ooh, 35 to 52. This is the Death Mallet Mall. It has 5% chance to cast level 1 Amplify Damage and Striking, 17% Enhanced Damage, plus 2 to Maximum Damage, plus 18 to Attack Rating, Lightning Res 5%, and 50% Damage to Undead. Oh yes. Very nice. To our friend down here, who's no longer down here, must be back at the forge now. Just wanted to repair my armor and stuff real quick. Greetings. But I sold that. I know he has a better gear than that. Yeah, 67. I was thinking about selling it, I just didn't. Center this layer. In fact, I haven't seen a single thing yet, kind of worries me. for me, but... See, okay, I was gonna say I did see some spiders down here. That amplify damage. Oh, there's the treasure. I don't know what he's fighting. He must have pulled something down there.
Ding. about the jade figurine. Alright, I believe this place is uh, cleared out. One more little hidey hole. Now it's cleared out. Back in Lutgolain, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. All right. I'll talk to Meshif. Greetings. Show my sheaf the figurine. Yes. Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here. I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. Now we have to ask Kane about the golden bird. What's that right there? I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly, his ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale. Didn't really tell me anything. Give the golden bird to Alcor. Ah, the golden bird of Kuile. Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. All right. <clears throat> Turn to Alcor for reward. What do you need? From the ashes of Quile, I have mixed for you a potion. Thank you. What was the potion? Permanently add 20 to life. We will take that. No doubt about that. To the spider forest. Let's go here. Nice little quest to start things off in Act 3 here. And things drain my stamina. I watch the bar go from like here, just and then down instantly.
bridge there. Let's head back for now, clear out the other side. in the flare jungle. Backtrack and finish this other side then. Or at least see where it leads. <clears throat> Technically, I was still in the Spartan Forest, even though like, just a minute ago I was in the Flake Jungle or whatever it was. This place is a little insane. Um. Eartha's Cord. It's a heavy belt, defense 31. 8 belt slot size, <clears throat> uh, plus 5 to minimum defense, or sorry, blah, 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 sorry, plus 5 to minimum damage, plus 25 to defense. Oh, that's why. Like, why the hell can I not compare it? Jungle. Doo -doo -doo. So we gotta. I, I was like, I just seen something in the the tree line. Uh, we gotta explore it over here first, or rather, I want to. And this still goes up, and I believe this is the correct way. I think that player jungle is just a side area. There is some areas here that you actually don't even have to visit at all or pass by at all. Go into whatever you want to call it. Right. There's 
spider den. I didn't even realize there was a side uh, path over here. No. I also forgot that you have to technically fight the shaman twice to kill the guy on the bottom and then the top. Finish exploring down here first, as I'm sure that it's not going to lead any any deeper. So looking at it now. That's the Great Marsh, that's where we have to go. So let's continue heading north, seeing what's up that way. And then we'll backtrack to the Flare Jungle and go from there. Did it land over here or is it still flying back and forth? Yeah, it's still flying. Never mind. I was going to chase down that enemy and kill it. Not worth my time. Spider Cavern. Clear out this other spider cavern. I already know where the chest is.
Look at this. This giant pair of spiders. One with cold enchanted. What is it? Paul's burning the impaler. 